Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and welcome to Pox Nura. Now, this game is extremely old, so yeah. it It's now owned by a new company called Desert Owl Games, and at first, uh, I, can't, I can't remember who owned it first, but it was like, but uh, Desert Owl got to it like, pretty much like two years or three years ago. They owned it for quite a while now and this game is also on PSN so you guys can actually try it there I believe but this is actually a strategy game that I used to play a lot and try the grind in now you can trade minions and all that and like trade spells and everything um, actually some of the players in this game actually are pretty far in the game so you gotta be careful when you get inside PvP I do recommend like going against your friends because it's like extremely interesting each time you guys play and you send you guys earn different like runes and everything they're basically called runes when you're playing the game but i'm going to show you guys a little of the gameplay and what it has to offer so there are quite a few factions so let me get into it first all right guys we're loading into the game now this game has quite a bit of pvp and it puts you in like the worst case scenarios that you have to actually figure your way out through so uh let's do an example so as you can see there's eight classes uh this side i can't remember what side they were called um the red ones were called some kind of side and the blue ones were like a different side but all the different factions are all kind of unique ones i normally enjoyed the um the cinderlands because they were like the funnest class for me because they're mostly like dragons and all kinds of desert like creatures and uh, let's see there is a forge as well to where you can make your um, own like hold up can I bring that up oh I can actually bring it up in steam so that's good oh god I didn't move myself back I knew that was gonna happen I knew that was gonna happen from path of exile but as you can see there's a lot to craft like a crap ton and all of them have different gameplays and everything um, you can mix your deck up with all kinds of different creatures from different factions but some of the creatures require you to have a full faction deck so I could uh, what was his name I believe he's um, legendary uh, where is he I definitely think it's violence if I can actually click it. I would probably have to go to the actual site to actually... Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the actual site and show you guys from there. So we're actually in the forge right now. This is... You can do it from site or from endgame. I'm pretty sure you would probably want to do it from site because some things don't actually pop up in the game. They actually try to force through like Steam. So I do recommend doing most of your stuff online. Well, on the actual website. So I finally found an example. This is pretty much what the um, champion looks like. The little sprite and how much room they actually take up. And what class they are and what race they are. So I actually own this card. It's actually pretty decent. But you cannot summon this in a split deck or anything like mixed. It has to be a full on Cinderlands deck. I pr I'm probably saying that wrong. But I'll probably get the pronunciation of it as this video goes but it's a hero card so heroes they have to be summoned in their own faction anything inside of a split faction they're automatically destroyed when summoned so if I have like both underdeath and cinderlands like in my deck it's automatically just going to be destroyed because it's a hero card so it's actually good that I'm actually in here because I can actually show you guys a lot of uh, different things that we're gonna need to go through so every different card has different like abilities and everything you can actually upgrade and change out and every card like gets more XP as you battle or you can like pretty much go through like coins and everything uh, which I'm actually gonna try and show you guys now my room manager this is pretty much just changing your deck and everything this is pretty much what everything I have inside of my deck at the moment so uh, let's see which one would I upgrade so I'm not playing under deck 
uh, can I upgrade you right now or are you fully maxed? Yeah, three stars is pretty much fully maxed it now with the character card. Then you guys can change it to pretty much anything you want. So there are some um, skills that require multi-hit that reduces your AP, which AP is pretty much your attack points. I actually have a few coins here too, so that's actually good. There's life, uh, there's life still in the game, so so pretty much as you attack, it takes half of that attack and adds it to your HP. So that can potentially be strong, and you're pretty much like a healer of your own, unless they're like way stronger than you. Then yeah, you're gonna have to throw up your game but this game is kind of like duelist in a way but with a way bigger map and more like spells and everything now you still have mana which is actually these little points right here uh, let me find a character I do want to upgrade before I actually show you guys the whole thing um, come on I have to at least have one character to upgrade I have this guy why not why not um, I don't know if he has anything good but you know Hey, <laughs> but um, this character um, has a drive and summon dragon so he can summon a dragon or drive an enemy by hitting them and they lose like 2 HP but also get damage increased by 2 and their speed is increased by 1 so your characters move by speed so I can move 7 blocks if um, somebody was to whip me whip this character or if he was to whip somebody else and they had like six six speed it would increase to seven they can move seven blocks your armor well defense is pretty much how much damage you reduce here's your HP and here how much range you have on your attacks so it's a full-out strategy game which you can actually really enjoy so at the moment you guys see that this stuff is locked and this guy deals a can deal magical damage which does have a range on it and everything as you hovered over the skills inside the um, it's on the site it shows you everything of what it does and what it has to offer so it's actually a really good um, damage increaser for your whole um, Cinderland deck so let's see if I can increase here what am I doing whoops but you can also, you don't really have to spend your coins. You can actually save that for like a better, um, a better monster that comes around. Okay, this thing still doesn't update. I don't know how long it's been, but that thing still never updates. So you would probably have to just go back in or refresh the page if you guys want, want to actually see it that bad. But it does apply, so it did go up to level two. But as you can see, uh, at the level three for that. So that is out of the question for upgrading this because this unlocks at level three. But here I can ch actually change over here to these. Um, so each skill you change to, well, ability you change to, like passives and all that, actually reduces his mana cost or Nora cost, whichever one you want to call it. So do keep that in mind. Now, this is the manager where you can manage your old deck and everything and see how many cards you have. And your bonus is right here. So, pretty much at this point, if you have a hero card, it's automatically destroyed because it's not a full uh, faction deck. Uh, hold up, let me see if I have a full faction deck right now. I think Skellheart was a full one. Yep, full faction deck. And each faction has different like full-on buffs for you to actually use. So, for I believe for uh, Cinderlands, it was like decreased damage, like taken, like a little bit of damage taken if it was like full, or if it's half, it gives you a little bit of half of it. So yeah, so it's actually pretty decent. So do keep that in mind. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is show you guys the traders. So pretty much your trade works like this. Now this guy pretty much is trading these cards. So he can type in what he wants and this is what you'll be trying to um, offer for. Now you guys can't hover over everything and see everything they do. You're just pretty much looking right here 
or you can go back into the um, into the forge type in the name for have like a second page up and have the forge and just type in the name uh what was the name let's go with tusk so i could just push in tusk i mean that would be it if these weren't limited time so these limited times won't actually pop up in your crafting so you can't actually like craft those uh let's see all right let's look up him let's look up him instead so if i wanted uh this guy I can actually go in here, look at his skills and everything, what he has to offer before I actually trade for it. And he is a hero, so he would die if he's not in his own faction. So, yeah. But like I said, if it's not a full faction, heroes will die. It can't be half an empty or your hero would die. Just letting that get in people's heads because I've seen so many people get angry just because their hero keeps dying inside of a different deck or everything. So do keep that in mind. Now back to the game itself, I do have a little bit of go, so I could do like, I guess an opening. Nah, I don't think I have enough. <laughs> what am I talking about? But they do have dailies and heroic dailies, which I'm pretty sure is like a whole week. So you guys have enough time to actually get these so you can actually like open cards and everything. They're actually pretty easy and simple to do. But 40 matches, um, probably do like five each in one day. Just like create a deck evolved around the dailies and just pretty much do that like 10 to five a day. Then you'll probably just end up at the end of the week with everything. So yeah, you can actually do these inside um, your daily quests right up here. Daily skirmish or single player or well, single player is pretty much where I love going because you can go do campaign, which you actually have a lot in campaign and you can actually do your dailies inside of the campaign too, which is actually pretty good. So there are a lot of um, harder ones. So do be careful around these. This one was actually pretty tough around for me because I'm playing with my own like deck and everything. Some of them actually give you a deck. So you have to actually strategize it out. So as you can see, the population is not very big in this game because it's like extremely old, like I said. Look at those wins. Look at those wins. I'm an elite. No, I'm just, no, no I'm not. Why, why am I lying? <laughs> but once you get through tutorial everything, you get bonus code and everything. And there is a bonus, but I'm pretty sure you have to actually buy that. Or probably like tokens and stuff for it. But there's actually seasons now like season league i don't remember that actually being in game but they do give you a thousand for each one you win i guess so i definitely recommend doing the seasons if you guys want to team up with one of your friends and like actually battle other people you guys can so enough chit chat we're actually going to get into a game right now i'm going to use my skill hard deck and see how this goes i'm having a lot of hiccups today and a little, lot of mini burps. This is right after my um, Path of Exile recording. So, as you can see, this is my shrine. This is their shrine. My goal is to destroy their shrine. Ow. 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 Okay. <laughs> but my goal is to destroy their shrine and theirs is to destroy mine. So what you need to do is take over these uh, fonts, these wild fonts that are scattered around everywhere because they give you extra Nora to which, to which you would have to use to actually summon everything. So having more Nora than your... So having more of these like little points and having more Nora than your opponent is probably a good thing to have. Now I do have a couple of spells and this, which pretty much increases everybody, but... I'm going to try and pick the speediest character I can find right now because I do want to take over the bottom pretty quickly. I do want to drop this too. Wait, what was this one? Yeah, I want to summon dragons too, so why not? Why not? First one. Now I have an extra minion. I have to wait a few rounds. I'm going to put this in the back to keep it safe. That pretty much increases their HP and their attack by one. 
Well, it increases their attack by one and increases their HP permanently by five as long as that's up. So, my goal is to get this guy down here and get this guy up there. So, this guy has six speed, so he'll be pretty fast to get up there. This guy also has six speed, so he'll be pretty fast to get down there. So, I can just end my turn, let the character take his turn. He has one speed, so he's going to be pretty slow. But, he's going to be really powerful. So, I got to be careful. As you see, my Nora, my Nora barely went up since, you know, I don't have any points captured or anything. So, that is what I'm going to get started on. And once you capture these points, you can actually start summoning right there around the area. Uh, can I cancel this out? Because I really don't want this right now. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Over here, as you can see on my mouse. As you can reduce the damage taken by... 2 on your um, champions, since I do have the full buff. If I only had half, it, that would only reduce it by 1. For this guy, since he has a full faction, he gets more damage. And that's going to be very deadly for the other um, devs. So, I gotta be careful. She also gets increased damage. Gotta look out for this guy, mostly. Am I on it? Yep, I am. So, I want to save AP, just in case she flies over here. I'm not sure if he can take it over. But as you can see, I can't summon it on anything unless unless there's actually an enemy that allows me to summon like different things next to them. But the thing I love about some of the Cinderlands, some of the um, actual champions, if they're next to each other and dealing like damage to different enemies, like each time they attack, they get their attack increased permanently which is actually pretty strong for the Cinderlands. So that's why you don't want them to actually group up if they have that. Uh, like this one. So if he's next to an ally, he goes into Fury. And as you can see, Fury gains permanently one attack um, for successful hit. And it has to be a basic hit. This guy right here does have it, so that's going to be good once I get those two together. So I have to wait a few more turns to get another one. Yeah, so he doesn't um, count as an uh, actual minion. He, he only counts as like... Well, he doesn't count as a champion. He just counts as a minion. So I can't take over with that. It's been a while since I played the game, hey. So give me, cut me some slack. Uh, well, I'm gonna... Okay, I was not trying to move you, but okay. Now, what I want to do is keep these guys off from taking this one. So, I'm gonna put down my healer. Right there. Yeah, I remember you're a healer. But I need drive points, so... Give me some. What I need to do is go up there and take over that. What you definitely desperately want to do in this game is manage your Nora like the um, computer players do it. I don't get why you did that. You're just going to come out since you're in range and it was going to attack me. Alright. Now what I want to do is summon this guy. Go up there. I want you to distract them and take their turns. That's what I want you to do. Uh, I want you to take their AP so they won't be like useful right now. Move up one more. Yeah. As you can see, that little symbol, uh, that little red streak that just ran over them, is pretty much activating Fury. So now I get bonus like attack each time I actually hit him. I actually got and heal this guy right now. There you go. And each time I heal him, I get a. Um... Wait, no. Spend three charges. Okay, okay, yeah, that just doesn't use AP. She just doesn't uh, do like actual damage. She can 
disease people and lower their uh, defense though. And it also does uh, damage over time, so she doesn't do any like actual good damage. And I also want to be careful because it's an AoE attack and it can hit my minions as well. So there's some attacks that you want to be careful with because AoEs that can damage everyone can also damage your own, which is pretty bad. This guy can move. Nope, no he can't. I forgot to summon him on this turn. Thanks for coming in my range. I really needed you over here. Attack him. Thank you. Because you get nothing for that. Now each time you destroy an enemy's champion, you actually get Nora from them. That you can pick up yourself, or they can pick back up to get more Nora back. So we're going to take over that, and we're going to try and increase our damage off this guy. Well, it's not going to increase our damage if we break away from each other. So that was my fault. As you can see, he can do 12 damage now. Uh, I got to be careful because they're going to be attacking me from behind now. Uh, what I want to do is summon my little soldiers here. Or not. Okay. Thanks, game. You know, I wanted my soldiers, but apparently not. Apparently, I cannot have them. But I do have another, um, another shrine, so I can actually... Oh my god, they're going to kill him. Please don't kill him. Oh, you're attacking him. That's fine. What I do want to do is summon one of my serpents. Now these games normally take around like, you know, a, quite a long time. So, you gotta pretty much work, put in work in this game. Depending on how strong your, um, Depending on how strong your champions are, it's going to take a long time. The grind in this game is not really all that bad. Now, he just pretty much self-destructed and did a whole bunch of damage to us. Now, what I'm going to do is grab this and get bonus Nora. Then, I'm going to get the um, this and put it on my Serpent, which is going to help him a lot. Now what I want to do with her is move her up here because I want to poison these guys and decrease their um, shields. First let's kill the dragon because he's going to be the worst. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. He has a shield. No, but I got increased damage off of it, but I'm not sure how long he's going to survive. Should have probably just went for her. Yeah, probably should have went for her. So this is... Rule number one, read your stuff. Or read the enemies at least. Because I forgot he was fire. Was not paying attention. It's a good thing because his defense is now zero. So I can actually kill him pretty easy. But he's dead. He's also dead. Yeah, once she's attacked, she goes invulnerable. Wait, is that a leader? Oh god. I'm gonna be fighting the leader. Yes, that's who I wanted. I didn't want your brother. I definitely wanted you. I definitely gotta still be careful because you're fire. I 
I don't really care about that um, slot anymore because I pretty much have a setup right now. And I want to keep my healer, so I gotta be careful. And I want to keep this dude too, so I desperately want to keep him now that he has the um, equipment on. But this spot is, oh, is pretty much their game. Darn, they. Okay, yeah, there we go, there we go. Sweet. Hey, you can have that. And you engaged him. Darn it. That's something I was trying to avoid. I really wish I had had him at first. Uh, what I do want to summon is you. Thank God you're here. I really needed you. So, what I'm going to do here is go ahead and sacrifice this guy. Oh yeah, there are some hazards that you can um, actually kill your champions on. So if you run into this lava right here, it kills your champion. So be careful. I want you to come here so I can get my bonus. There we go. Now what we want this guy to do is deal damage. There we go. Yeah, some really good damage. I want you to guys to stay, stay at arm's length so I can actually get the boost off that too. I'm going to give this to him. The best thing about this dude is pretty sure that there is life still on him. No, no. There isn't. So I got to be careful. I can easily kill him. Now that he can move. Next round. I need to heal him. This guy is undefected by magic. So he is the perfect counter for these angels. For this one. He eats magic, so if you use magic at him, he doesn't take any damage. Not only that, if you use spells, he also gets a damage increase. So what I'm going to do here is move these guys to engage him. So I'm going to stop that, and what I want to do here is get right here, and deal damage to her. She's dead. And she's about to be dead too. Kill my snake friend. And what else I want to do is go ahead and decrease their defense again. And now, I want to no summon another healer in the back. So this video is going to be pretty long, just to show you guys how long, pretty much how long it can take. Alright, she's about to die, so that's pretty bad. She has nothing else, though. You're going to need to die really soon. I don't like you. Hey, you can back off. Oh no. Oh no. Can we chill? Like, time out, bro. Time out, please. I kinda need him. 
Alright, girl, I'm gonna need you to come up here and heal him. Because he has 21 AP. We need that. And he's gonna be really strong. I'm definitely gonna have to move him out of this area when I attack, though. Because he needs to regroup. That's one killed. I really need to move back. Uh, let's move you up here to engage her. She's dead. Now come back over here. Now since you're stealthed, you're okay. And what else I want to do is... Hmm... Move you back here. Oh yeah. Oh, rip. Rip the dream. I don't know what to tell you, man. You, ju you just... Died. But what I'm gonna do is summon you. I need another dude who can counterattack. Uh oh. He might be dead really soon. Yep, there he goes. Now the thing, uh, the next thing that you guys need to know, if I destroy this dude right here, I just win the whole game. So that's why I want to keep boosting this guy, so he can do easy damage to him, or keep boosting this one. So, what I'm going to do with her is decrease their defense again. She should be dead. Alright. Now that you guys are encountered, I don't have to worry about you guys for a while. Uh, what I do want to do is summon her, because she's also another one that actually gets a buff off of the whole theory thing. So, and she's ranged, so that's definitely going to help. And none of, get, none of these guys eat spells, and I definitely got to watch out for him. He's going he's gonna to do a lot of things I don't like. Oh no, he hit my serpent into the lava. Mm. Hey, you leave him alone, he did nothing to you. He's definitely dead. He's gonna take damage, 8 damage. Got it, okay there we go. Alright, surround him again. God, I wish you were spells, man. Why are, why are you so different from everyone else? Uh, what I'm gonna do here is move my little friend up here again. I need to just start doing work on people. Now she can do damage from back there and still get uh, low strength. Uh, definitely want to put that on her. He's probably going to die. 
I don't know if I can I can get this guys, but we're gonna we're gonna see. Now I definitely want to summon violence. Oh yeah, there he is. There we go. Meet my my violence as much as he wants. Uh, I'm gonna continue to attack him. I don't know what that does. Hold up. Oh. Oh my gosh. This champ. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna need her. I'm gonna definitely need her. Uh, I'm gonna need you to attack him. So, I forgot about this. So that's another extra enemy. Well, ally. Have a few more in it. You are now full HP, man. Do your thing. Uh, let's see. Pretty sure we're gonna end our turn there. But yeah, I only have one more turn on that. So it's literally been 29 turns. Ow. Yeah, he's dead. Oh wait, he's not actually dead. What? I am going to make sure to try and take you with me at least. Or at least weaken you. No, no, no. I see what you're trying to do. I see what you're trying to do. No, 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 no. <laughs> How about no? How is your range only one? Oh yeah, you can't attack anybody right there, can't you? Well, you can take this free damage. Uh, what else, what else? What I'm gonna do is go up here and start attacking this guy again. And you're dead. That gives you quite the increase. It's a good thing violence does not have fury or he would be way too strong. Uh, I'm gonna have to attack you. So what I'm going to do next is have this guy, because he's going to whip a couple of people and give them extra damage. Because he has drive, as I uh, showed you guys last time. And he also has a decrease to people's defense. Alright, he's dead. Now violence can actually take care of um, these two. And plus, he also has life still, so he's actually extremely good. Oh no, they killed her. Aw, oh, damn. Uh, that sucks to see. But, violence is also ready to rumble. So, I'm gonna do this.
and I'm also going to attack her. So now what I want to do is bring my little homie over here. He should be dead this turn. What I also want to do is come over here and encounter him so he won't be getting any bright ideas. i going to move you over so you won't get attacked. Uh, I'm going to summon this dude. Uh, wait, no. Which one? Fire. Crap. I'm going to summon a Templar because they get bonus um, defense, right? If they're on the shrine. Uh, plus two defense. Alright, alright. Three, I guess you're pretty good. And plus he also has Fury, so... I just pretty much based this whole deck off Fury. All I gotta do is kill this guy and it's over. Kill that guy or kill his base, whichever one. But if they kill my little lizard friend here, it's gonna be bad. Because I do need him. So the thing is, these are on cooldown, so they actually come back into your hand like that dude just did. So what I'm going to do is kill you. Because you're very troublesome. As you can see, this dude just gained back his HP like pretty quickly. Hey buddy, I'm going to come over there to you. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. You see that? <laughs> oh my god. See, that that's why he's so good. Violence is so great. As you can see, he's taken a crap ton of damage. So, I could potentially kill him if this guy survives. So, I'm going to make sure he survives. <laughs> So the game does have a lot of um, like conditions to win, so you guys can actually potentially win a different way. Other than actually going to the shrine, you can actually go a more difficult way and make the game last a little bit longer, or you can go straight for the kill. Now with this like build right now, I could go straight for the kill. But what I would need is his drive, but he's all the way up there. I'm going to engage you here, attack you, then I'm going to block, block the damage for him. So what that did is bodyguard, pretty much he, my Templar, well Temple Guard takes the damage instead of my um, lizard friend here. So I actually made my deck to actually play off each other as much as it can. Um, there's still a lot of things I need for this deck to actually make it a little bit more perfect but a lot of the trades that people are trying to get are really expensive so I have to be careful with what I try to trade I'm definitely not giving up violence for anything he is really good especially 3 star once he's 3 star oh my god really you just want to fight her Oh, mm. Yep, I'm gonna need you dead this turn. Bye bye. And Violus is gonna finish it off. Why not? Bye bye, buddy. And that's end game. So it did take quite a while, guys. The game is like. Extremely like strategy based. And I actually gained a card for doing the daily, so. And you could also make your uh, shrine into an actual, like, to actual champion, but at the cost of, like, I believe, 
I forgot what the downfall was of it was, but I just got a crap ton of goats, so I'm actually feeling quite good right now. But I forgot what the downfall was. Okay, I did not get my goat. Hello? Okay, can I have my goat? Okay, it's over here. But I don't think I can buy anything. Hmm. Okay, over here. But you have to actually have to grind for the goad and everything just to get all these booster packs and expansions and everything. Or you can use real money, which I I have not done and I don't plan on doing it unless I actually get addicted back to the game again. But God, what was I about to say? I got sidetracked. I am I apologize. I'll probably put it in like text and explain. But um Pretty much the games do last pretty long, which actually adds in a lot of more fun. And it actually is really strategy based. And oh, yeah, I remember what I was saying. It's at the cost of um, the shrine pretty much being like turning into an actual champion and actually can fight, but he can actually move around and go to actually other enemies that can potentially actually kill him. So you're just pretty much bringing your shrine to them. So if that cha if your shrine champion is destroyed, that's pretty much game over. So yeah, you could pretty much relocate him too. And I'm pretty sure he has a little bit of buffs and everything. Um, I could take a look at that right now, but there's a few turns that you have to go through before your order to move. Uh, let's see, eight turns. All right, so let's just, we're not even gonna fight right now. We're just gonna skip through them all. He's up here. So I'm going to show you guys the shrine just transforming. Then we're going to end it there. And multiplayer, um, you can pretty much summon. Uh, well, yeah, in multiplayer, you can pretty much uh, fight with two up to uh, two people. I, well, no, I think it's like 4v4 four four you can go at. No? I don't remember. I haven't played this game in so long, but I'm pretty sure. I know it's you can 2v2. That's something I fully know you can do. But I'm pretty sure you can free for all as well for like four people playing against each other. Which is actually extremely fun. I recommend you guys do that with friends. Yeah, we got one more turn. She's just coming straight over here. Hey man, leave my shrine alone. I'm just trying to transform it, okay? Okay, guys, we got one more turn. Now, you can't put equipment or any, like... Yeah, I don't think you can put equipment on this, um... Shrine. Shrine champion. You know what? You're getting quite close to me. I don't like that. Okay, she's an elite, so... Killing her doesn't mean anything. Alright, so... Now we can transform him. And there he goes. He actually gets, um, oh, not the thing. You also lose your summoning spot. So if you have no forts or like both well, these uh, wilds, you won't be able to summon anything. So you're legit only playing with him. So if you're going to transform him just to have another person fighting by your side, do at least make sure you have one of these covered or a whole crap ton of enemies you know that are going to help you. But pretty much um, I would probably be a sitting duck right now. But let's look at it. Uh, Champion gets 5 8 AP each round so there it is on summon. And I also get regeneration which pretty much regenerates my HP three by uh, three. Um, Avatar. Immune to stun, fear, and all that. Just immune to any like effect, side effects or anything. This cannot be targeted by any spells or abilities which are not basic attacks. So you can't use an ability on him. And it cannot be relocated or removed from play. And you cannot equip any equipment onto it. 
this can only be healed through regeneration so any like other heals or anything won't will not work on it so so yeah life effects cause to uh, lose three or well 30 or more HP does not include as damage okay wow so any attack over like 30 does he does not take any damage I'm guessing this does not see receive your faction bonus so yeah he won't receive the decrease of two two damage so yeah sorry guys but he does have fury he does have fury so that would be really great to have he does have a leader too to where enemy is around him well to where allies around him gain um, buffs too and he does have this other attack too that knocks um, enemies back so yeah it's actually pretty decent not the best thing in the world but every ally around him also gains one AP AP so yeah it's pretty dope a so he actually gets more HP than when he summoned though All right, so its attack distance is right there, so you attack all around him pretty much, and he can boost everyone and still attack from right there. Let's knock her back into the hole if I can. Ah, guess. Oh wait, you have bodyguard, don't you? Or tough, something like that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna end it right there. But you guys, pretty much seen what the game has to offer it's pretty good it's really a depth and strategy all different kinds of champions have different kinds of ability and everything so i do recommend you guys like just thoroughly just go through the whole game and try to find like different kinds of means and everything to actually fight by your side and different kinds of spells that would help you out i mean it's pretty great of a game i just haven't played it all that much just because i haven't been like in the mood for like the game it's a now I actually want to play a little bit more yeah that's quite problematic but <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it and try out the game if you guys want it is on Steam now now that um, there's an auto on it they just pretty much put it on Steam it was really lack of updates and everything when the uh, old developers had it and everything so you know it's a good thing Desert Owl took it over I'm actually pretty happy with that. There's been constant updates and all kinds of events and everything. But if you guys enjoyed, do leave a like and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.